Former Theranos executive Ramesh Balwani has been sentenced to nearly 13 years in prison. This is after a U.S. district court found him guilty for his role in the American company's blood testing hoax. Balwani was convicted in July of fraud and conspiracy connected to the company's Borgas medical technology that duped investors and endangered patients. A district judge in San Jose, California, imposed the sentence on Balwani, who was convicted by a jury on two counts of conspiracy and ten counts of fraud in July. We're, uh, we respectfully disagree with the result in the case. We are disappointed in the outcome and we plan to appeal. Was it a mistake to try them separately? Do you think he would have fared better if he had been tried with Elizabeth Holmes? It, it, you know, this is all speculation. We're, we're proud to represent Mr. Balwani and we, we think that um, the outcome should have been different and we respectfully disagree with it, but again, we're going to appeal. That's all the I judge have to say. Beyond, yeah. went beyond the His sentencing came less than three weeks after sentencing of Elizabeth Holmes, the founder and CEO of Theranos and an accomplice to Ramesh Balwani. She was sentenced to more than 11 years in prison for her part in the scheme, which is widely held as one of Silicon Valley's biggest scandals. The scandal revolved around the company's false claims to have developed a device that could scan hundreds of diseases and other potential problems with just a few drops of blood taken with a finger prick. Once valued at around $9 billion U.S. dollars, Theranos promised to revolutionize how patients receive diagnosis by replacing traditional labs with small machines envisioned for use in homes, drugstores, and even on the battlefield. After years of promoting the technology, Holmes and Balwani were warned that the blood tests were inaccurate. The duo, however, continued to raise money from investors and even deployed the technology in some Walgreens stores. The investors included billionaires such as software magnate Larry Ellison and media magnate Rupert Murdoch. The company collapsed after a series of Wall Street Journal articles in 2015 questioned its technology. Both Holmes and Balwani could have ended up as many as 20 years in prison. Balwani spent six years as Theranos' chief operating officer, while remaining romantically involved with Holmes until a bitter split later. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.